Hi, I'm Tamir from Taddy Brothers, and in this video I will show you how to power your backup camera system from one source. In order to do that, you'd have to get one of our premium cables and do the inline upgrade. What that does is instead of making it just a longer RCA cable, you also add this inline power source, a barrel connector, that allows you to connect the power by the monitor and it will power the camera too. You just share the power of one source. That's basically the idea of it. So here's how you're supposed to do it. This thing will obviously work if you're going to thread it through an RV, or if you get one of our smaller cables, it is going to work on a truck, like you see here. The length of the cables are available from 18 all the way up to 100 feet, and this is how we're going to do it. First, you want to take the part that, um, that the, female, or the female barrel connector is, and you want to put that by the power source. Usually, people want to power it by the monitor side. That would go here. Then you thread the cable through your vehicle, and at the end, you should have these two male connectors right here, the red barrel and the red RCA. Then you take the camera, and here I have an, RC, um, an RV camera. It's one of these RV box cameras that goes for a trailer, or you could do the same thing with a license camera or a bumper camera or a full frame. Any of our cameras that have these type of connectors will work with it. And what you do is you connect the barrel connector to the red power source and the yellow to the yellow, and that will transfer the video. On the other side, you have, I'm using a 5-inch monitor here, okay? The, on the other side, what you have to do is you have to connect both of these uh, inputs into 12 volts. In order to do that, you take these uh, barrel connectors that you get with the camera and the monitor, and you join them at the bottom. I already did it here for this video. So when you're done joining the cables, you're going to have these two black cables here and these two red cables like this. And here's also a video, show, a video, a picture showing you how it looks right there. And then once you do that, you plug it into the 12 volt power source of the product. So here we're going to do first on the cable. I'm connecting the red to the red. And I'm taking the 5 inch monitor and connecting it here like this. Okay. So now both of these are going to give you these two pigtails and you connect that to 12 volts. If you want the system on all the time, you can connect it to some kind of constant power source. So for that, in that case, you can use one of our cigarette adapters or just connect it under your dash to something that's always on. If you want it to turn on in reverse, the way you do that is you connect it to some kind of fuse that turns on when you go into reverse. I'm going to show you in a second another way of doing it. But I also wanted to show you that if you got a monitor that already has the pigtails, in that situation you would just use this one pigtail and connect them together so they share the power source. You don't have to use it. So for example, our 7-inch monitors have a pigtail coming out of it. So you would just join this with that pigtail there. Okay, so now let me plug this in here again to show you. And then I'm going to show you how to do it a little differently. One second there. And now I have these pigtails here. We're going to connect them to the power source. You see here, like that. And there you go. Okay, you see the camera on, and it's working for you. So now you have the monitor side getting power, feeding the cable all the way to the other side where the camera is, and it's feeding the camera. So when you turn one thing off, the whole thing turns off. Some people want to power it the other way around, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do that as well. I'll just flip it around. That's all we have to do. It's going to two seconds, all right? We're going to flip the inputs around. So again, so here I'm actually going to connect the male to the monitor and the other male to the RCA right there. Okay, and on the other side where your vehicle is, you're going to have that same situation where you have two female um, barrel connectors. So all we do is we take the same thing we did before. We take that, that shared double barrel connector thing that you'll see in the picture here, and then we connect it to the two female barrel connectors at the end of the vehicle. Then what you want to do is you want to connect it to a power source, and it'll turn on. The reason some people want to power it from the back See, now it's powered from the camera side. That's where the power is going. All right, you see? This is where the power is. The reason some people do that is they want the system to turn on using the reverse lights. That's why you would do that. Most people power from the front. In any case, what you want to remember is you want to put, you want to start threading from the monitor side. This way you can spool the cable when you're done, all the extra cables there. 
If you have any questions, you can call us at 866-966-5550. From all of us here at Taddy Brothers, thank you and have a great day.